Hey everybody, happy Friday, April 1st, 2022. Hopefully you haven't had too many April Fool's jokes played on you today, but if so, time to laugh them off and enjoy a little fun. I am Mona with Journey of Purpose Life Coaching and I want to thank you for joining me today. And I am hopping on a little earlier than I usually do. I'm um, trying to work my schedule around being on time on Facebook and having other things going on around me. So I thought a little early would be better than not at all or a little late. As we've been talking about um, for the past week or so, 21 ways to spring clean your life. And today's topic is finding a hobby. It could be a new hobby, it could be adding a hobby, it could be changing a hobby, but just adding a hobby to your life. And you know, I want to express that I did a lot of research and I like to see different ideas before coming on here to talk with you guys. And I think that this is one of those areas to really encourage your children to do this also. I think it's so important for them to get in some healthy habits and healthy self-care and doing things for themselves at a young age so that they can carry these positive gifts and ideas to their own adult life. Just like I've talked about vision boards and journaling, those can also be hobbies and I think those are two hobbies that would be great to share with your children and have them carry into their adult lives. And it doesn't matter how old they are. You can make it age appropriate and it's never too late to begin. So if they're already into their teenage years, it's still a good time to share those with them. And that's something I just really wanted to express, not only for us as adults, but to introduce these good habits and healthy things to our children. As I was reading, um, there, I did not realize how intense or how much you could dive into the world of finding a hobby and what's out there to help you find a hobby. And some of the suggestions I saw, one that I saw was totally opposite thinking by different people. The one page I've kind of been looking at says to unplug. Do not use electronic, social media, anything technical as a hobby unplug from all of that and do something else for a hobby. However, a lot of people were recommending streaming, gaming, downloading, could be hobbies for people. So I think once again, you have to look at your own self and see how that plays with you. Some people I believe are addicted to technology and it would be good to take a step back, find a hobby not related to that. And then there's people I know that are hardly on. They don't even know how to turn on a computer or things like that. So maybe doing something plugged in might help them and bring something around for them. So that was kind of an interesting note I noted about hobbies. I used to have a hobby growing up and it was collecting pens from companies, different shapes, just all different things. And my dad made me boards and he stapled on, um, you know, some elastic so I could stick the pens into the elastic pieces. And I had over a thousand pens probably. Um, and that was fun. I would organize them by color. And some of them were like the water pens. I don't know if you've seen them, but they have water. You tip them upside and things move inside. I had a bunch of those and just fun, very inexpensive. A lot of them were not bought. They were just from companies that handed out their own pens and then people would collect them for me if they went away. And if we did travel, when we traveled, I would get some souvenirs. So there are quizzes even online you can take if you're having problems finding a hobby. I mean, it was just amazing to me what hobbies and how you in depth you can go to find something. Some of the suggestions I found um, to help you maybe look for the right hobby for you um, was a way to express yourself. You know, pick a hobby that expresses you. Some people like to use a hobby as escapism, just to go away for a little while and just face nothing and deal with the hobby. Um, there's seasonal hobbies. I love Christmas, you know, I love the holidays. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. Keeping fit. Some people learn a skill as a hobby and even carry it out to where they make money by that hobby. And another really neat hobby I liked, which would probably fall into volunteering, is a hobby that would help others. So those are just a few ideas for you. You know, we're all different, we all have things, you know. And there are benefits to having a hobby, you know. People sleep better, their health is better, 
they have more happiness and you you find friends you may not have new friends you might find additional friends or you might find more positive friends maybe that are involved in what you're involved in work performance and low stress are some of those good benefits so they said sometimes finding a hobby as an adult some adults find that a little hard so some some suggestions we're going to end with to try and help you in that is Maybe it's something you're already doing, you just want to do it more and turn it into a hobby. Childhood interests, like I just shared what my collection was, you know, as a child. They're like, there's Myers-Briggs. Some recommended taking the Myers-Briggs personality test to help you find out some hobbies. And then some just start trying random things and see what fits, see what sticks. This one I thought was cute. What is something that's a guilty pleasure that you spend money on? You could very easily turn that into a hobby. And this was cute. Something that will make you forget about your day. It just takes you into another place. And that's probably where stress is lowered, happiness is lowered, or happiness is higher, you sleep better. And maybe think of the last thing you did that made time fly. Those are kind of run side by side. And the last one, what you want to change about yourself. So as you think of all these suggestions and ideas I've brought up about hobby, what is a hobby that you would like to explore? Or maybe you have a hobby right now you're already doing that you would like to share. If so, put it in the box below. And until Monday, have a great weekend. Enjoy the journey. Be empowered, live on purpose, and thank you again for joining. Bye-bye.